Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the gate effect in Ableton, which can give you quite a good stutter effect, uh, which works really well on uh, things like vocals and synths. So let's have a quick listen to the effect we're going to be creating today. And let's have a listen to it without the effect. So as you can hear, that's quite an interesting effect. It's also known as trance gate uh, due to the fact that it is used quite heavily in the trance genre. But uh, I'm noticing it is used in techno quite a bit as well recently. So let's go ahead and create this effect. So first of all, I'll delete out everything I've created so we can start from scratch. The next thing we want to do is go to audio effects and then to gate and drag an instance of gate onto the sample. The only thing we'll do here right now is grab the floor, take it right down to infinity dB. Now, uh, to create that stutter effect, we're going to use a instance of operator. So for that, we'll go to uh, inst oops, instruments, operator, and drag an instance of operator below the sample. Now we need to create a MIDI clip uh, to add our note into operator. To do this, let's just highlight the area under our sample. Oops. And we can right click and insert MIDI clip. Now we're just gonna have one long note for this and that's fine. We'll just drag that along the entire length of the sample and let's just solo it so we can hear it. Okay, now let's go over to here. We'll turn the LFO off, we'll turn the filter off as well. So all we should have is just a single sine wave. Perfect. The next thing we wanna do is to actually create that stutter effect. What we're going to do here is go to MIDI effects and we're going to drag an instance of arpeggiator in front of operator. Okay. Now the only two things we're going to work with in the arpeggiator is the rate and the gate. Now I'm going to set the rate to 1 16th as that is the sound that I particularly want. Uh, you can adjust the rate to how you like, but for this example, I'm going to be using 1 16th. Okay, now let's go back to our sample. So, what we need to do now is side chain our sample with our instance of operator. To do this, click this little icon here and then press the side chain button. Now, what we need to do is select operator and we should be good to go. Let's press play and see what happens. Ah, of course, we need to unsolo that first. And in fact, what we'll also do is turn uh, operator off so we don't actually hear it. So let's deactivate it and try again. Now you can't hear anything, but if we lower the threshold, now we can lower it all the way down just to get what we want. If you lower it too far, you won't get any effect. You can see the blue lines in the right hand window. So for our example, that's what we want. Now we can go back to operator and in the gate, we can adjust accordingly.
Okay, well that is a quick video on how to use the gate effect. I hope that helps you guys and if you have any questions leave in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll talk again soon.